What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Troy. We went into what triple overtime to get that win. It was a high scoring affair. Neither team could play much defense at all. But we was able to pull out the win in the end and we are 6-2. We are technically bowl eligible which is exciting. We still need to win at least one more game since we're an independent school. Just winning six games, I don't think, is enough. So we have four more games to go, and we'd like to at least get one more to hopefully get a bowl win somewhere. Also, that'll increase our program prestige, and we can move on to bigger, better things. Now, today we're taking on Northwestern. This was like my North Notre Dame game from last year. It was like a third Power Five type program that I wanted to take on. And I guess, thankfully for us, they're one and seven. They're just not playing well for whatever reason. And you look at their stats, doesn't say a whole lot. They're not very good at anything. Of course, they got more talent than we do. I did not scout them. I don't know what defense they run, but I do remember that their playbook is very shotgun heavy. Like, I think everything's out of the gun. I could be dead wrong, though. We'll find out really quick. Now, what we can do is go to Sports Illustrated. And looks like we've got award semifinal and stuff to look at. We'll check that out here in a minute. But I'm going to go to conference standings first. We'll go here and let's check out our team information screen. Looks like CT is play he's doing okay. We're doing, you know, we're giving him easy throws as best we can. Galashaw is now our leading rusher. It only took him three games to get there, but he's now our leading rusher. But just getting that speed to the outside is making a big difference for us. Our big stuff, though, is Jimmy St. Louis. He's just having an incredible year. 81 receptions through eight games, which is insane. He's averaging over 10 catches a game. It says it's not a little over nine a game, but, oh, yeah, we've only played eight games. Either way, still, just an incredible season for him. He's got seven touchdowns, almost 100 yards average a game for a tight end, which is insane. Looks like we got a new lead tackler in Potts. He's our uh, impact freshman middle linebacker. Owens is still leading in sacks, with Galshaw still leading in interceptions. Now let's go over to the Big Ten and check out Northwestern. They got a bunch of players out. Maybe this is the reason why they struggled so much this year. The quarterback's got over a couple thousand yards with uh, almost 20 touchdowns, seven picks. I don't know. I mean, we'll just look at the roster here in a minute and see what we got to go after and what we got to scheme around. They got a, their lead tacklers putting up good number, 45 tackles, but they've already played eight games. They got beat by Michigan, and two other injury, injured guys are linebackers that could be starters. I'm guessing they probably are. We'll find out here shortly. Now, let's go to quickly to bowl rankings. Gives you an idea of kind of who's doing what. For the big trophy, Iowa, USC, Miami, South Carolina, and Florida. Something's happened to Tennessee. They lost the game. They must have lost their previous game or two. Or the one before that, I should say. We can look at Heisman Watch. Iowa, Iowa, Miami, Oregon State, Wisconsin. Of course, none of this affects us. What will affect us is the award semifinalists. This should be pretty interesting. Maxwell Award. We won't have CT on this one. The Big Neric Award, I don't think we'll have any defensive player on here. Nobody's really stood out and made any crazy plays this year, enough to get on that list. QB, of course not. The Walker, we're not going to have anybody on here either. Wide receiver, we shouldn't have anybody here, but what we should have, there he is. Jimmy St. Louis, he's third right now. Now, what's interesting is the top guy only has 19 receptions. For almost 500 yards. That's an insane average. And already has six touchdowns. So when they give him the ball, it's either going to be a big play or a touchdown. Number two guy is with 24 receptions, almost 400 yards, and eight touchdowns out of Oregon State. Now you look at our guy, he's got 81 receptions, 738 yards, and seven touchdowns. I think if we keep doing what we're doing, he will eventually move up and hopefully win this thing. That'd be cool if he did. Offensive line, wow, that's nice. Tennessee has two guys on the list. Let's go Remington. I doubt we'll have anybody here. I care more about if we're on here than anything else. Miami for the Thorpe Award. Groza, no. I'm guessing the Coach Award will have a chance. 
best returner. We haven't had anybody return enough touchdowns for that to matter. And there we go. We are at the top of the list for Coach of the Year award. I guess that makes sense to have a deep overall team going 6-2. and two. Not bad. Looking really good for us right there. So just keep doing what we're doing. We may win that thing as well. We're not changing anything to the offense. We're moving the ball really well the last few games. We're going to keep that as is. So I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and take on the Wildcats of Northwestern. I have no expectations here. They got more talent than we do. So that record means nothing to me than being 1-7. and seven. For some reason, I think they run a 3-4. We'll check out their roster as usual and work around that. This is at Northwestern. Won't be able to do as much hot routing or audible, which I don't do that much anyways. It's been a while since I played at this stadium. I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. There's not many people there. It's going to be cold out there today for the Murray State Racers and the Northwestern Wildcats. At least there's no crazy wind. It's been a heck of a season, and today's game looks to add to the excitement and maybe answer a few questions. And here come the Wildcats. I love their uniforms. The all purple looks pretty cool. The Wildcats appear to be completely overmatched. They're like the Vanderbilt of the Midwest. Murray State looks no further than this. Ronnie Gallish, though. That's why they play such great defense. His Dude has won some game for us this year. He's just a stud. We've had to put him a halfback some this year to get it going. And they're picking. They picked us. Well, well, I guess that makes sense. I didn't even look at the overall ratings to see where we were. But I'm sure we're well above them. Okay, let's check out their roster. Let's go here and here. All right, starting quarterback, 80 overall with 72 speed. So we could probably go after him some today. Halfback, 84 overall with 90 speed. I probably should have scouted them. I can do that. Well, we'll figure them out within one drive, kind of what they like to do. Fullback, not bad, but he can't run. Their one, I guess, lone impact offensive guy is out for a couple weeks. So we looked at here. So they may be a balanced offense. They don't have anybody else on the offense that's impact so I don't know I guess we're going to still do a little bit of everything today quarter they're tied in 82 overall but 68 speed that doesn't scare me just looking at their offensive line looks like everybody's in the 80s except their right tackle now defensively we could probably tell what defense they run that's a big defensive end so was this guy I'm thinking they got a lot of defensive tackles so they may go four three I don't think they run any goofy uh, type of defense. I think it is either 4-3 or 3-4. One of their best linebackers is out for the season. they got an impact middle linebacker. He'll be all over the field today. Right outside linebacker. So who's the other guy that got hurt? It's the backup middle linebacker that's out. That won't hurt him too much today, though. Otherwise, they got a pretty decent linebacker unit. But they're hurt. With that one guy being out, that doesn't help things. Now, corner. Just a bunch of guys in the 80s. Looks like your typical low-tier power five team. Free safety, 82 overall. Really good, strong safety. This feels like it's so different than Troy in terms of their defense and who like their best players are. They also had an impact strong safety. We'll try to get away from him as best we can. They got an average kicker, average punter. And that's it, really. So it should be interesting. So let's see what happens. We're going to high kick this thing as usual. Kicks it off. Cobb signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch fair at the 35. Okay. Strange decision there. Coach, help us out here. What let's do exactly quarters. What's going on out there? <laughs> I've been around this game for a while, my friend, but I can't say I'm too familiar with players' fair catch and kickoff. For no reason. Right. I don't know what to expect. They're going halfback draw. And there he goes. Pick up the first down out of the gate. I wish I could make draws out of the gun work in this game, but I can't. I've tried and tried. You got to play a soft coverage in order for them to work. Or the defense has to do that. Let's 
Somebody get him. Oh, that was going to be a really good juke or spin if he'd have timed it just right. Yep. There was absolutely nowhere for the quarterback to run. We'll stick quarters, set a nickel. Good job by this defense. Number 18 lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. He tosses it. Ah. And it's caught. There's a stiff arm. Potts. We took a terrible angle on that one. So it's third and five. We'll go cloud. I'm guessing they're going to throw. Ball right around midfield. They come out in a five wide Let's see if we can make a move on this guy here. Drops back to pass. Short toss. Ah. There he goes. And a face and mask to go with it. This one might so we're making it easy on him. Check out the penalty. That's that's a 15 yarder. It's by our impact right. middle linebacker. I'm gonna stick the quarters. It looks like they're gonna pass more than run today. Roberson. Going with the halfback weak. Wow. Just an easy run there, the halfback weak. Off tackle play. Let's switch things up to a one high. Just to break it up a little bit, because right now quarters isn't working. Set up in the gun. Oh, I was right there and he still scored. Well, that was the easiest drive ever. Like, we didn't have one positive stop the entire drive. So we'll get on offense and try to tie it. That's why I say those records don't mean anything. It's all about matchups and talent. I may have to run some clock today to keep it away from that offense. Number one, fields it at the two. Yeah, I forgot the juke. And it wasn't going to go anywhere anyways. For their next possession. Gellishaw is still feeling okay, so we'll let him run it out of the Bill gate. They're going... They are 4-3. That's an interesting setup there. On the right. And a fumble out of the Ball gate. Wow. Number Just one, terrible protection. Full bag got in the way. It's not what we wanted. We'll go flat out. We're going zone. I may have to turn the commentating off. I'm not really liking it. Terrible throw, CT. Come on, it's not that hard. Well, it is... I'm just going to run the ball. I'm not going to try to throw an interception. I'm afraid I'll do that. Zone nickel. Murray State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Here's the option. Elateral. And we get nothing from it. So that is as terrible as a start as you can ask for. That's how we do things at Murray State this year. We just start off so slow. Murray State ready to put this one away. I could have ran clock there and I didn't. They're going to have amazing field position, but at least he didn't return it. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They come out at a nickel. All right, we got to do something here. This game's going to get out of hand real quick. He dropped back. Looking. With the throw. Complete. Knocked out of bounds. At least they lost some yardage on that one. On that play. Three yard loss on the play. I'm going to go quarters here. Second and 13. Out of 4 3. Ball on the 39. Northwestern lines up in a shotgun set. I, I, let me know if that bugs you or not. I'm just, it's bugging me. I'm going to go PA only because that, I, I want you guys to hear me, not what Lee Corso is saying. You know, nobody cares. Halfback draw again, and there he's off to the races. Third and 11 will go cloud. Hopefully we can get to this guy. He's 
just got all day to throw, and it's a touchdown. Thank I just what do you do? What do you do? Way too easy. I'm not gonna take him over. I'll probably make it worse. He had all day to throw, but I could have blitzed, but he probably would have got out of it quicker. Yep, the worst first quarter you can ask for is happening right before our eyes, but that's we're used to that by now. We always have one quarter where we just completely fall apart. I don't know how to fix that. Get better players, I guess. I don't know. Back to the ground we go. Great protection, everybody. That was spot on. We'll go tunnel screen. We're going zone. This will go to Clark. Terrible throw. CT, you got to get with it. We need you, buddy. I mean, in order to have, uh, I don't want to get blown out today, but you got to start making better throws. Let's see if we can run the ball again. We're going zone. I had to cut up the middle. There was just nothing. I couldn't go to the outside. Third and six. I'm afraid this ain't gonna. Uh, let's just. I'm gonna. Let's see if we can run the ball. And I don't like the sh uh, shift a little bit better now. Better blocking there. Just don't fumble at Odom's. Okay, now let's go. Let's go tight end streaks. We're going zone. This will go to Clark. I probably need to run Clark, but I'm just, I feel like we play better if we just don't bother with it. Terrible throw, CT! Come on! Make one decent throw. That's all I ask. I mean, do we got to stop throwing today if he's just going to throw it in the dirt on every pass? Gosh, it's so annoying. Didn't get the first. I'm going to do another run. I don't trust CT to make a throw right now. We're going man nickel. We'll go to our left. We'll just toss it. To Griffin, get the first down. We're on the left hash, so let's go with... Cross in. We're going man. The Oxy both safeties come up. That would be nice. Nope, they're going with the one high. And I, I don't know what's going on. Like, passing game, we can't do anything. If he makes a good throw, they drop it. I, I don't know. Let's, let's pass. I, I, don't, I feel like it doesn't matter. Either somebody's going to drop it or it's going to be a bad throw. Going basic cover two. There we go. Finally, somebody made a positive play in the passing game. Let's back out of that. Uh, and I got the wrong one in there. I for, always forget I have that formation sub in there. Let's go with the speed option from under center. We're going nickel again. Looks like we're going to run to our right. Good block there. Get a touchdown, Odoms. All right, we're on the scoreboard. Good pitch by CT. Now we got to figure out what to do on defense. They're kind of moving the ball however they wish. But we're on the scoreboard. That's what matters. We got the touchdown. So let's get back on defense and try to come up with something. Some way to stop them. 
Not a very good kick. I pressed the button way too late, but he should have fair catch it. We'll go back to quarters. Uh, let me go back. I, I'm afraid. One thing, it just reminded me. If I if I put play-by-play -play back to normal, if, or if I turn it off, that means we won't see the preview stuff at the beginning. So let's just have it on, and we'll just have to deal with them talking. They'll throw on first down. Short toss. Couldn't haul I think in. I got a hand on it. Either that or he just dropped it one or the other. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Wildcats. They love to spread the ball around. They're going four wide a lot so far. Back to pass. He's looking. He's in trouble. Somebody got to him. I wasn't paying attention. Good to see Owens get to him, though. It all starts with the battle up front. Now we're back to third down. Can we get a stop? If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Oh, he's got all day to throw. Oh, my gosh, what an interception that was. Insane throw or insane pick. Wow. Watch this again. What a stud. I mean, the timing had to have been perfect there for that to have worked. I can get over there to it. Look at this. This is insane. Wow. What a great interception. That gets us back in it somehow. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go wide receiver deep post. For going man. This will go to Jimmy St. Louis or Clark. Murray State comes out of the we'll do one high. On first down. Over the middle. Good catch. Arrington with a good throw. Down. The quarterback just lasered that one down. That the is field, coach. Let's no go. Breaking that pass up. With a halfback power. It's second down We're going goal. zone, and All the, the clock's about to line. go down. Murray State lines up. Let's just ball. go with it. They hand it off. Just get the first down. Taken down. Just he enough. Yeah, Alright, nice end of the quarter. On that run. Really a nice read. We're down a touchdown, but we're driving. To go, but at the end of one, our score, Northwestern 14, Murray State 7. Let's go with a PA read. We haven't called these in a while. We're going zone dime. I almost want to run it. We got the numbers, but I don't like the shift. So we'll just pass it. Looks. Get about seven yards there with JS Sale. Let's do another direct with Odoms. Zone 4-3. The shift looks good. Just get good blocking here. No blocking whatsoever. So it's third and five. This is two down territory for us. I'll definitely go for it on fourth if need be. But we'll run it. This is the fifth play of this drive. I trust Galashaw in this situation. Anybody else? State comes out with an eye formation. Eldridge options out, and now he pitches it. He jukes it. Dang it, he didn't get it. They do manage it. So here's what worries me. It's fourth and one. Wow, I'm not sure about that play call there, Brad. I'm going to run the ball. I'm not going to take a field goal. I just don't think we can make it. I don't trust myself. We're going goal line. This could be really dumb. And they'll run them again. And I didn't get it. Well, they'll turn it over on Dang it! Dang it! Did they have to go for it there? Of course I didn't get it. I should have known better. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I guess I should have kicked the field goal. I don't know. I just never trust myself on those field goals. It's what I get. Now watch them go right down the field and score on us. Here's that half bad draw again. And there he goes. Picks up six yards easy. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. It's second down and four. All that drive for nothing. Man, that stuff kills me. And there he goes. Look at I just I told you they're gonna go right down the field and score so easily. 
off a turnover. They're running just enough to keep it honest. Play action. I wish that was picked, but it wasn't. We're gonna go four wide all day, so. But the defender stepped up and made the play. I don't looks like I won't be blitzing a whole lot. I mean, I can blitz on a ten personnel set, but. Get it! Oh, you got to be. Mm. I'm about to lose it. Third and four. I don't. I'm gonna take a chance on it's on my mind, so let's just run it. Let's go with a fire two. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 43. The Wildcats come out in the ace formation. They may just simply run it. They are gonna pitch it. And there they go. Easy first down. Oh, I swear. I told you they were gonna go right down the field and make it look so easy. That was good execution by this offense. Which is what I get for, I guess, not kicking a field goal. They'll work from the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Perfect pickup on the blitz. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it. I'm gonna do another zone blitz. Might as well. They're not gonna show us a whole lot of eleven personnel today. Hands on Hadley. That ball should have been picked off there. Northwestern comes to the line. There we go. Somebody stop him. Thank you. So it's third and what, six? Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. We'll go back to Cloud. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. I don't know if that fullback's going to stay back or not. He is. All day to throw. All day to throw. Thankfully, he overthrew it. So they're going to kick a field goal with their own. They got an average kicker, but this should be a layup for him. Comes in for the field goal that could put them up by two scores. Yeah, perfect kick. Had a thirty extra thirty yards on top of it. So now I'm thinking maybe try to run the rest of this clock down and get a touchdown before half. Problem is we gotta get touchdowns first. I'm more worried about that than anything else. Gonna let that one go. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. I'm gonna let Galshaw run once before we give him a break. They're going it's man for three. I'm not a big fan of that shift. The now he pitches it. Perfect defense. Uh, one, two, three. Kirk, he might be up for the count. Oh, what a hit. Gotta go to a pass, I guess. We'll go flat out. They're going man. Who's on who? We'll just have Abdullah go over the top if need be. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. The true freshman. Big play by Clark somehow, some way. He's gonna get a huge game. Gosh, what a play that was. Thankfully, CT threw it badly. He threw it too short. Clark had to come back to it to get it. And I was able to cut up field. Just an insane play. So where are we at here? Let's go. Let's do a PE read. First and ten. We're going zone Ball nine. I may just hand this one off. Uh, I don't like that shift. Comes to the line. Let's run some clock. Since we don't need a minute and a half to get down the field at this point. Throws it out there, and it's caught. He's Did they get the first out. down? We got the first. Hey, look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Let's go with... Let's do a toss play. And we take a quick look at the stats from within we're going the man 4-3. The clock is still moving, which I'm fine with. Performance matters the most. We'll go to our left. To the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. Hopefully the line can block for us decent enough. On the option left side, Perfect back. defense. And he's gonna lose yards Nobody protected. Play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like Let's go with. He had no shot of breaking clean. Uh, please go zone. 
I didn't get the going man. This play ain't going to work against man, I'm afraid. I mean, it might, but I don't have any faith in it. I'm just going to call a timeout. I don't like that play. Second and 11. We'll go backfield. And I'm going to actually run it. We're going man 5-2. Man, please do not shift to the right. Murray State sets up in the eye. Pitches back. Get a block right there. Six points. Touchdown, I'd rather go to him than anybody else. All right, so we got it. We gave them 33 seconds to play with. That's plenty of time for them to do something when they get it. But at least we scored. I guess the game would have been tied if I would have kicked that field goal early, but I got to get over that. We got to move on. And he hits the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Let's survive these next 33 seconds if we can. Coleman, ready to kick. This should be a much better kick. He didn't fair catch it. Surprised me. I'm going to do quarters steal. I don't know if they're going to try to make something of this or just try to run out the clock. I hope they run out the clock. That's why I'm going to stay in. Oh, they're going to pass it. Ah, he still got a play out of that. Now, what kills me is they went with a curl flat. That converted because I went quarters, not because he was wide open. I mean, he's wide open because I went quarters. I got close to swatting that, too. If we was running cover two or cover three, or if I wasn't controlling that guy, I probably they probably wouldn't be able to make that play to the curl. Perfect protection again. And wow, they're just gonna make this way too easy today. Looks like our defense didn't come to play again. Am I wasting my time going after the guy because we can't even get any more close to him? Complete. Gets three yards out of that, 18 seconds. We'll go quarters since they're going five wide. We'll stick with nickel. Wide open. Is this who do you go after? I either go, there was nobody over the middle, or I could have went and covered this guy over here. It wouldn't have made a difference. Northwestern takes a timeout. Wow, they're just making it look way too easy, and there's nothing I can do about it. They're just going to get their points and yards today. Red zone when performance matters the One and seven, and I told you, records don't matter. Back to pass. He steps up with the throw, and it's caught. Great go. Brings him down. And they pick up sure, they're going to call a timeout here. Yeah, they'll kick a field goal. Better than nothing, I guess. That's still aggravating. We can't the stop them whatsoever. I mean, just nothing. I mean, their passing game is flawless so far. Except that one interception we got. But just to be down six at halftime, I'm okay with it. For as bad as it's got. For as bad as the defense has been. We'll let Gale saw try something. Nope, nothing. All right, we can check out some halftime stats. I don't know what there's not going to be a whole lot to see here. Both teams offensively are just doing their part, but their passing game is just doing a number on us. Their run game is doing a good job, too. They had the one interception. I don't even remember if we scored off of it. So far, it looks like a balanced, even game. But they got more points than we do, and that's all that matters. Northwestern will be kicking off to start the second. So let's go and see if we can get a touchdown here. Maybe get the lead. Decent kick looks to be returnable. Clark fields at the goal line. Nothing there. I'm just glad he didn't fumble it. I'm gonna go back to a flat out. We're going zone. At the 20-yard line. 
I want to get JSL going if I can. The defense lines up with six DB. Drops back to pass. Throw short. What in the world's going on? That's two drop passes by JSL. I mean, they're whatever. Going zone. I feel like I got no choice but the pass now. Murray State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He drops back. He's looking. Throws this one out to Almost the got the first, but not enough. Good job to avoid the Here I may just want to run it. Well, when you're trying to get to the quarterback with the blitz, you better have some We'll just do a toss to Galashaw. Hopefully we can get the first. Out there all alone. Eldridge, out to the left. Had to get that one off quick. Here he goes. And he's get the first hard. down there. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up and they get good yardage. Great play. We can try across yeah, in again. We're going impressive. zone. Maybe JSL can catch it this time. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. The racers line up with three wide. Eldridge to the air. Intercepted. Just a terrible throw. I don't know what the deal is with our passing game, but it's just gone to pot. Like they just can't get anything going. Let's try speed option. I don't know. So it's second and Man nickel. Ball on the 48. Uh, the we'll still go at this way. On the option left side. I tried to pitch it. It wouldn't let me do it. Dang it. Keeps it on the option play and picks up six. This is two down territory for me again. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a first down here. Don't have to bother with a fourth down. Of course, they shift perfectly. Thank God. Ah, oh, so frustrating. But what do you do? Just another botched drive. I have no choice but the punt. The racers are lining up to punt it away. And that's going out of bounds. It's a high well, kick and it holds up there. High. Signals for a fair catch. Steal. Missed opportunity. Oh well. Offense hits the field. Let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. We got to get something going on defense because obviously our offense is going to jive well today. They'll throw on first down. Wide open. There he goes. Somebody stop him, please. Anybody? They'll bring him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making. But the offensive we'll try his own blitz. Long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. The Wildcats set up in the gun. Back to pass. Perfect blocking again. I don't know what the deal. Look at this. Oh, he dropped it, thankfully. How does it feel? We've had like three today. Our blitzing is not working whatsoever. I mean, they're picking it up perfectly every single time. I don't know why that is. Get a stop. We'll go cloud, I guess, but I can see him running it. Ball right around midfield. They come out in a nickel. He lobs it right side. Get a stop. Get a stop. Get a stop. And they now they may go for it. Play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. it looks oh, like they're going to punt it, thankfully. Please don't fake it. They line up to punt this one away. I don't know what to do on offense. I mean, they're just shutting everything down. Number 90 boots it way up there. Number one calls for the fair catch. They'll down the punt at the six yard line. At the six yard line. Good job against the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. I'm going to go back to direct. Problem is, we're going to that side and they're shifting. And Murray State comes out of the shotgun. There he comes, a blazing. And he is drilled. Pick up six yards there. Now I'm going to go back to curl or the flat out. Can he catch it this time? For whatever reason, our best player can't make these catches. The racers come out in the ace formation. Looking. He'll dump this one off. Complete. He had to make a miracle catch there. Just a bad throw. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Let's go with the basic run out of wishbone. They're going zone. 
I'm gonna run to the left. Murray State lines up in the bone. He'll keep it on the ground again. Got some open field. Get about four yards there. A five yard pickup for the tailback. Pick up five. I hate that I'm running just one play out of some of these formations, but it's working for us, so we'll stick with it. Big shift there. Got no choice but to go left. Get a block there. Get a first down with Galashaw. We can go back here to the screen. That defense starts to We're going zone. That's Last time it was a bad throw. Over the top. Maybe he can make a better throw. And this impact linebacker is fired up now. What is going on? Why can't these guys catch the ball today? There's no excuse for that. Like most of our draw, I mean, our incompletions are drops. I'm talking about dropping any test. I don't. I don't know what to say about that. Or nine guys on your back. There's no they just, excuse. For it's the day to the drop balls, I guess. I don't know. You touch it, you catch it. That's the bottom line. The racers come out in a two tight end set. We'll go with the speed option. Terrible. That wasn't very smart, but we got eight yards out of that somehow. Third and one. Please go zone. I ain't getting going, man. I'm going to try to go to JSL here. I don't trust. I don't know. Oh, they're going to give it to us. Just enough. Okay. We're, I don't even know where we're at here. We haven't called him. Let's go. Let's do speed option from here. We're going zone 4-3. So I got no choice but to go right. That could have been bad. It was bad play anyways. I tried to pitch it, wouldn't let me do it. But I guess I pitched it too late. So we're going man. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Right now the tight end is in the zone. I'm gonna flip it. It's just we're going man. To bring in both safeties and take it! Somebody do something right for us on offense. Just anything. Just anything. Anything right. This is bull crap. I don't, I just, just nothing's working offensively today. It is what it is, so we just got to deal with it. I'm not even going to call a play here. Just a defense. I thought it was going to be an offensive battle out of the gate, but no, now all of a sudden we can't do anything offensively. Third at... There's nothing I can call here that would make any sense. So I'm just going to run it. We got no choice. I mean, I can't pass it. The CT's not good enough to make an 18 yard completion. Perfect defense. Perfect defense. I don't get it. It just all of a sudden we can't do anything. We'll punt. That's what we do. We punt. Last game, we had an amazing offensive game today. We can't do squat. Very inconsistent. But I had no choice but the punt because we just can't do anything offensively right now. Back to quarters we go. We've got to get a stop here. Otherwise, we're going to, I mean, we can't beat them if we can't score. Thankfully, he overthrew it. That was a terrible position. We need to get another interception or something. QB draw. There he go. You got to be kidding. Look at this. Look at this. I just, that's whatever. It's just meant to be for them to win it today, I guess. We just can't make any plays. I don't know why. It's first and ten. Ball on their own forty-seven. Going with the shotgun here. Like I said for the eighteenth time today, records don't mean squat. Roberson gets the call. And right up the gut he goes. Just look at that. I don't. He spins around. 
I'm at a loss for words. It doesn't matter what I call. They're going to get their yards. getting better and better as the game goes along. And coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're We just got to get lucky on a play. And I don't think they're done just yet. We need like a pick six or something because our offense can't do anything. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun. And of course, they go QB draw on a zone blitz. It's like it doesn't matter what I call. They're going to just make the right play. It's second down and eight. This is the fifth play of this drive. Northwestern lines up in a shot. I don't trust our offense to get us back in close. Another QB draw. And we, oh, we finally stopped it. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm gonna tell you why. QB draws actually are okay in this game from the gun. If you got a quarterback that can handle it. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Ayers can, he's too slow. They're going to run the clock now as best they can. I don't blame them. And, of course, get him, get him. Finally, somebody got to him. Now they're going to go for it. Nope, they're going to punt. I thought they was going to go for it, being on the 39. What a goofy game. None of it makes sense, but that's football for you. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. So it looks like the defense is holding up their end of the bargain. Just our offense has got to figure out something, anything. I don't know what to do about it, but we'll figure it out. It's a way, and it's That's a, a kick and a half. Number one calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So before the offense hits the field, we'll give Gellishaw another run at it. They're going man for three. They're running my under front. Formation here. Eldridge running the option. Pitches back. Get a few yards out of it. Three yard gain by the running back. Not a whole lot. And he's gassed, as he should be. Uh, wide receiver deep post. We're going zone. This is going to go to Abdullah. They line up in the shotgun. Didn't get the first, though. Dang it, I knew that was going to happen. 13 inches, of course it is. Oh. I'm going to do it. I don't trust. We're going to run the ball. And they're going to spread out. Oh, and they're bringing everybody. Somehow we're going to get a first down. Somehow. All right, there's two minutes to go. Let's think smart about this. Let's go flat out. We're going zone. We'll go to JSL. Hopefully he can catch it. Almost intercepted. No, you're going the wrong way. We lost yardage. That's what happens when you make a bad throw. Terrible play. Second down and twelve. This we got to hurry up on this one. Drive. Thankfully, they're going zone. The impact tight end is hoping to get the ball in his hands. Terrible throw line. again. Got an opening. Somehow we get the first down. A nice completion get up. That time. Good completion. And I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but that was exactly the same play they just ran. They're Let's go with creative. tight end streaks. Creative. You don't they're need going man. These kind of results. It's first and ten. And this is the sixth I'm going to leave it as drive. is. They're bringing both safeties. Let's go, JSL. Make a play. Ah! Ah! Biggest play today. So we're on the seven. Big game. Wow, what a play. We needed that in the worst way. Problem is, we're going to give them a whole lot of time to work with. He is okay. Let's run it. We're going zone. We're just outside of the area where we can run this without them going goal line. So we're going to let that clock roll. The problem is, if we get an extra point, we'll be down sick. I mean, it's going to be an interesting decision. I feel like we have no choice to go extra point, though. Perfect defense. Let's 
Let's go halfback direct. We're going zone, nickel, don't shift to the right. Somebody make a good block over there on the right, please. Comes out in the shotgun. Then after that, I will probably have to go back to flat out. We obviously have to get a touchdown. We're going to let that clock run. They snap it to the back. Touchdown. We'll go with it. So we got it. Let's just get the extra point. That's obviously what we need to do here. It'd be dumb to go for a two-pointer. Nothing gains from that if we go one or two. Just go up one and get the lead. But we gave them a lot of time to work with. So we're going to do another high kick. And hopefully our defense can keep doing what they're doing. The second half, they've done a great job. Should fair catch this one. Nobody's going out with it. That surprises me. Flag. Interesting. Will be a holding. That's going to make it even better on us. Clipping. Yes, we'll definitely take that. Now let's just play smart football. Keep everything in front of us. Cross your fingers. Let's see if we can finish this thing. He overthrew it just barely. I got to stick with Porter, so that's the only thing I trust right now. I'm trying to get him to run, throw in my direction. He hasn't done so today. Good open field tackle. They'll call a timeout. We'll go cloud. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 25. They shift Let's see if I can get to him from here. Drops back to pass. He steps up. I got so close. Make a play. It's deflected. Huh. Fourth and four. So we gotta run this play again. I'm gonna go back to cloud. I trust it more than anything else. Oh my gosh. Make a play, somebody. Linebackers move over. Game over! Game over! Defense came through in the clutch. Golly, what a game. They got two timeouts, so let's go. QB Neal. My goodness. They're going to take a knee, call a timeout. Do another QB kneel, and then it'll be over with. We'll take it, however which way you can. Murray State will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. Third and 13. QB kneel. Wow, there it is. I think we're going to go to a bowl this year. That's what it took. I wanted to get seven wins, and it looks like we're going to get it. Wow, we'll check out the stats. There's not going to be a whole lot to look at offensively. We didn't just get to do much today. Their defense shut us down, really. I guess I could have had 24 points off that one field goal I should have kicked. This one's in the books, folks. Wow. What's your final thought on the game? Well, this Another game great win for us. That's just it's just one of those magical really years for a team that this bad to get that many wins. I've never done it like this before. I've never won I don't think I've ever won seven games with a D overall team. I could be wrong. I don't remember it. I really don't. But somehow we're winning these close games. That's up the number three. We'll check out some stats. Only 329 yards of offense, and honestly, I feel like almost a third of it came from that last big drive. We ran the ball a whole lot more than we threw it because our passing game was going nowhere. I felt like we had no choice but to run the ball more. Had 148 yards rushing. 
the sacks, our defense is what came through, though. We only had 261 yards. I thought their offense was going to run ramshot all over us today. But we somehow was able to slow that down. Biggest thing for us, we had no turnovers other than the turnover on downs from earlier. Looking everywhere else here. We can check out the individual stance. 13 of 19, that's a decent average, but he just couldn't do anything with it today. He had some bad throws and some of his incompletions were a lot of it were drop stuff, and we can check that here in a minute. Running the ball. I feel like Galshaw needed to touch him more than anybody else just because of the speed. We needed that back there. It gets us out of the offensive line's way much quicker, giving it to him. Odom's ended up with a couple touchdowns. He had a good day, good average. Everybody had a decent average on the run game except for Eldridge, of course, which is to be expected. Receiving, Jimmy St. Louis had 78 yards. Unfortunately, he had no touchdowns. I don't know how that's going to – I'm afraid that's going to hurt his status for the touchdown or for the tight end award. Seven receptions helped. What really stunk, though, was we had – yeah, Jimmy – yeah, he had three drops today. He could have done a whole lot better, but just – just didn't play well for whatever reason. I mean, he done enough to... I mean, he made the play of the day with the deep bomb. Big catch there to keep us alive. Of course, we had nobody do any pancake blocking because our offense line just isn't good enough. Ernest Potts, freshman middle linebacker. He's having a great freshman season. He may be... He may get freshman All-American honors. I, we'll see how that goes, but he's had just a great year. You go look at the uh, box score. First quarter, it was just craziness for both teams. Second, I mean, the first half in general. But the second half was pure defense. Like, none of us could do anything. We got our lone touchdown on the last drive off the big touch or the big pass to Jimmy St. Louis to keep it going. Oh, my gosh. We're 7-2. So, let's check out our rest of our schedule. We got four games left. Three games. Sorry. We got three games left. We got Hawaii coming here, the three and six. Arkansas State at Arkansas State. Butch Jones' new team. And Eastern Kentucky, one of seven. I like, honestly, the way we're playing, I don't see why we can't win all three of them. The thing is, look at our wins. One by 1 1.8, 10, 3. Lost big time there. One by five, one by three, and a big win there first of the season. We just had a lot of close games, but hey, we're winning. That's all that matters. So, next game, we are taking on the Rainbow Warriors of Hawaii. They got the top passing attack in the country, and their rush defense isn't bad either. But they lost two in a row. They're not having a really good season. So, something's got to give. We'll see what happens. So, come on back, and I'll talk to you later.